Hey friends of the channel, it's Friday, June 9th, and as always, I am here with more MLB picks today, and I'm trying to turn $2 into $32,000, so make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you get free MLB best bets each and every day, and while you're at it, smash that like button if you are ready to end your work week with an MLB winner, I know I am, so without further ado, let's dive into the matchup between the Houston Astros and and the Cleveland Guardians. The Astros have lost three straight, and they now sit five games back of the Rangers, heading into a three-game series against the Red Hot Guardians. And when I say Red Hot, I mean they've won two in a row. Now, Christian Javier is on the mound tonight for the Astros. He has been outstanding this season. He is 7-1 with a 2.84 ERA and a whip under one at .99 after 12 starts. He has only allowed more than three earned runs in a game once this season. And since May 10th, he has never given up more than one earned run in his last four starts. Now he gets to face a Guardians offense for most of the season that has been in the bottom of the league in hitting. And on top of that, the Astros have the fourth best bullpen in terms of ERA at 3.28. They're also top 10 in whip and strikeouts. So good luck Guardians trying to score any runs off the Astros tonight. On the other side of the field, the Guardians, they're going to start Logan Allen, who has also been great this year. He has a 3-2 and two record with a 2.76 ERA. He just can't seem to get any run support behind him. This guy has never given up more than three runs per game all season. He rarely will give up the long ball as well. The only thing that does worry me about Logan is that batters work the counts with this guy, and he is not a strikeout pitcher. He's had three games this season where he's gone over 102 pitches, and two of those, he only lasted five-plus innings, and the other one, he only went in a six-inning performance. Now, like the Astros tonight, though, the Guardians' bullpen is fantastic. They are second in ERA at 3.12 and third in whip at 1.18. They do not walk anybody. They've only given up five home runs all season, which is best in the majors. So you have to think that this is going to be a low scoring affair tonight, right? Well, come on, guys. You know me. Yes, the Guardians offense has struggled this season, but last night that frustration came out versus the Red Sox. They put up 10 runs thanks to a hat trick of home runs by Jose Ramirez. I think confidence flows over to today's game. They get at least three off of Javier tonight. And I think as good as Allen has been, he's also not a shutout pitcher. And the Astros will push few runs across the board against them. But then, how do you fade these bullpens? Well, it's fairly easy to fade the Guardians if you just use the eye test. Statistically, the Guardians bullpen, yes, it is great. But you have to watch this team. Their bullpen has a lot of holes and Tito uses them incorrectly all the time. Now, I just can't see the Guardians bullpen keeping this uh, to possibly a four innings that they're going to have to get through clean tonight. So uh, I think it's always going to be a sweat with the Guardians bullpen. But if you watch them on a daily basis, the bullpen's actually not as good as their statistics tell you. So I think it's going to be a much higher scoring game than what's on paper tonight. So with my best bet for Friday, June 9th, I'm going to be a little biased, 100% biased. I'm going to take the Astros and the Guardians over eight runs tonight. Now that brings me to my streak where I'm trying to turn $2 into $32,000. Will I do it? No. Will I get to day two? Apparently not. Yesterday, Drury went 0 for 3. And if it sounds like we're repeating ourselves, it's because we are. We're back at day number one. 14 days, 14 MLB prop bets, one goal, $32,000. Today, I'm going to go with Anthony Rizzo over one and a half total bases. This is more about fading Garrett Whitlock than anything else. Whitlock on the road has a 7.07 ERA and a 1.43 whip. I think Rizzo, who has struggled as of late, has been waiting for a guy like this to take the mound, uses veteran leadership to propel the Yankees into a good outing tonight. So I'm going to take Rizzo over one and a half runs, and let's finally get to day number two. Feel free to join us on this streak. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky, and in a 14-day span, we'll turn $2 into $32,000. In the meantime, though, sit back, relax, enjoy a massive MLB slate here on this Friday evening, and I will see you all later tonight right here on YouTube for some Guardians baseball.